gender is the term that was first introduced uh, in the 50s uh, by John Money, psychologist John Money at Johns Hopkins University. He invented this idea that we have a psychological sex, not just a biological sex, but a psychological sex in our mind and that we are born gender neutral. So that when we're born, even a normal child, uh, he, he proposed, is born without any uh, uh, propensity or quali- you know, masculine or feminine qualities. Yes, there were certain physical characteristics, obviously, that were different, but aside from those areas, Everything else is imposed by society, a social construct. So all the sort of so-called feminine qualities of being nurturing and, you know, preferring to play with dolls instead of, uh, instead of trucks and uh, interest in uh, the more nurturing professions and uh, being more uh, maybe verbal and articulate. I mean, all these kind of stereotypical uh, things. So John Money proposed that this is all imposed by society, a social construct. But in addition, he came up with this revolutionary theory that because that's the case and we are all born gender neutral, that therefore a boy could be successfully raised as a girl and a girl as a boy, at all dependent on environment. He had an ex- one experiment. He did one, his proof of concept of his theory of gender identity being, uh, being that we're born uh, uh, gender neutral and that it's all about society and that it's all about gender identity and that it's flu, all that stuff was pr- his proof of concept failed utter- miserably. It could not have failed more, but it only became known that it had failed after about 25, 30 years after he began saying that it was a success. So there was a long delay in uh, the discovery that the individuals that he had experimented on the boy that was raised as a girl because he had had his penis burnt off during a circumcision and his parents took him to Johns Hopkins to see Dr. Money. Dr. Money said, raise this boy as a girl and he will be fine. We'll castrate him. We'll do some surgery. We'll give him some hormones at the right time. He'll be absolutely fine. They listened to him. They tried it. It was a disaster. He ended up killing himself. He never felt like a girl. He never acted like a girl. And his biology was coming through loud and clear. That Y chromosome, that tiny little Y chromosome, makes a big difference. Now, by the time that David Reamer, this boy that was raised as a girl, came out publicly and said, my life was a disaster because of John Money. I was exploited by the medical field. And not only that, but John Money's results, when John Money went and said that I, speaking, in other words, David speaking now, that I was a success and that I actually felt like a girl, this, you know, you have to understand. I mean, it's it's impossible to believe here, isn't it? You see, David Reamer was was the perfect, perfect uh, uh, subject for, for John Money. He was a twin. He had an identical twin. So he, and they were, of course, raised in the same environment, the same family. This was the perfect setup. It was the answer to John Money's prayers. And so they do this experiment, and this little boy is told from the age of about 18 months that he's a girl. 
Okay, he's still in diapers. And he's told he's a girl. He's given the name Brenda. He's put in dresses. Uh, the whole world, all his relatives. This is the perfect social trans... We would call it socially transitioning right now. Except that the kid himself didn't know that he was being socially transitioned. The book that came out, published telling his story is called As Nature Made Him by John Colapinto, came out in 1999. It was before John Money died. John Money, his whole life, never made any public statements regarding what happened. In other words, public statements acknowledging the disaster of his experiment. Why is it that now that we know what happened to those twins, and did I say they both committed suicide or did I just say David? Did? No, you they just said David. David. They both commit. Well, the other, his identical twin uh, died of, a, of an overdose. So he destroyed a family, John Money, and he was, every time the kids were taken down to see him, because they lived in uh, Canada, and the parents would take them down once a year to see John Money, John Money was sexually abusing those kids. And he was showing them pornography. Uh, he, he, in his mind, well, he was pro pornography. He he felt that it, that kids needed to see, in order to develop normally uh, in terms of their sexuality, he believed that uh, all children needed to be exposed to graphic sexual images. And he was also uh, for incest. He was publicly pro incest. So this is a wicked guy. We're talking yeah, about a that's fair, to, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fair yeah. to say. I so, think that's fair to say. My question is, if this man has been discredited, if his research was found to have to to not have any scientific value, then why is it that these ideas are still being propagated today? Bingo. 